To start to understand what is Freetag server good for, let's start with the client. So what you are looking at is called ADAC or ADAC, and that is a Android application that was originally created by the US military to display information on a map. I'm projecting this application on my computer, so you can notice that I am displaying a map. And by the way, one thing that many people ask is, where's the map coming from? The map is downloaded dynamically from the web. It's not necessarily installed with the application. What can you do with ADAC? The question is not what you can do, but very often what you cannot do, because you cannot do such a huge amount of things that people is overwhelmed, and that is not a tutorial on ADAC, only to give you some uh, ideas of the application. But you can navigate from point A to point B. You can communicate with other people using the chat here. You see we have a set of people that are connected, and that is where a server start to be important, and not only you can uh, exchange text with those people, but we, you can also exchange geographical information called cards. For example, I can place here a dot, and this dot will represent something, and then I can now share this information with all the people connected to my server. So those people will see on their client the same dot appear and that indicate a certain type of information. Other thing that you can do is you can visualize so-called layers and each layer represent a certain type of information such as you know your teams, the type of uh, alerts or emergencies, different type of markers, attachments, we will see how you can do that, uh, and data packages, very important, and so on. Um, you can also, as uh, we were saying, can share attachments. So attachments or data packages are uh, any fundamentally any file that you can zip together and send uh, to all the connected users or you can send those files uh, to the server and then all the user can download it from the server. So if I click this button here, what will happen is I will connect to the instance of FreeTap server that is fully available and download a package. And you can see here that I'm downloading a list of packages that are located on the server. And in another video, we will explore in detail what that means uh, for us. Other things that you can do here is you can set a geofence, you can import things. A very important function is the emergency. So the emergency will automatically send a message to everyone that is connected saying that you are in trouble and you can set uh, the type of trouble uh, 911 alert, ring the bell, geofence breach or in contact. And if you have a free tax server installed, this will be broadcast to all the connected users. Another function that is really important is the ability to connect to additional plugins. And uh, part of those plugins are freely available, part are not available. Um, the um, tax center, the tax product center has a policy of releasing step-by-step -step dif different plugins. And some of the plugins that you see here are not yet released. And some of the plugins are being created by the community. So you can download those plugins and use the plugins. So that is uh, our five minutes introduction of what is uh, ATTAC. And you can use ATTAC without any server, but by using with a server, you have different advantages. And that is why uh, FreeTag Server is helping you to take full advantage of your uh, uh, 
uh, infrastructure. Now, what is Redux Server looking like? Uh, that is the UI of Redux Server. So when you install the application and you log in in that, the web UI is a web application. This is what you can uh, see. Uh, we have here different information about uh, different services. And then we can jump here to the web map. The web map is basically providing you a web view of the most of the information, not everyone that you can also have on the Android. And that means that if we have in the Android, uh, some user that is connected, we will see the same user also connected in uh, on the web map. It's an example here we see that Aspen is connected and is located in somewhere in the United States around Iowa City. And when we uh, go to the web map, we should see the same information here. So that is a way uh, mostly for administrators to uh, understand what is going on on the server. And later in a dedicated video, we will see how that works. Another section uh, in the UI is the mission in which you can manage your data packages, you can manage emergencies, you can manage federation, and we'll explore all those topics in future videos. In the user section, you can create users. In the connect section, you can send messages from the server to all the connected clients by using the API. And finally, we have a configuration section that will help you configure your Redux server and a about section that will uh, provide you some information about who is behind this project. So that is our initial introduction of the topic. And please uh, think about uh, exploring all the videos that will go in the title of uh, how that really works. Thank you.